everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be fun to take you through some of the pieces that I need in my life to have my best summer possible and just live my best life. So stick around if you're interested in seeing some of my can't live without products for summer. So the first product I have here is the Ren AHA Smart Renewal Body Serum. This is a different consistency than most lotions, but it is awesome for plumping and hydrating the skin. It also contains lactic acid, which is going to help to gently exfoliate the skin. If you suffer from bumpy skin, keratosis pilaris, I think that's how you pronounce it, KP, chicken skin, strawberry skin, whatever you want to call it, this is going to significantly help. So what I like to do is exfoliate with a mitt in the shower for wherever I get my KP. And then after the shower or just any time throughout the day, I'm going to apply this body serum. I think you can apply it to pretty much anywhere on your body, but um, I typically just apply it to where I have KP. Um, that's on my arms and unfortunately I do suffer from it on my chest as well as my cheeks. I don't put it on my face. I have oils that work well on the face for that sort of thing, but I find it's the worst on my arms uh, and this has been a game changer for the summertime. So it is an expensive product. I think Canadian, I think it was around the 50 or $60 price range, um, but you get quite a bit. So this is 200 milliliters and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that is the consistency of it. It's a little bit runny, but it does absorb into the skin quite quickly. It has a really gorgeous creamsicle scent. Um, so again, really nice to layer on in the summertime. I will say again, this product is a game changer. If you suffer from any kind of KP or scaly skin, definitely recommend picking it up to prep your body for the summer glow that we're about to get into. So I go between a few different products in my tanning routine, but one that I consistently keep going back to is the Bondi Sands Aero Ultra Dark. It does say that it's an aerated self-tanning foam, but it's different than the Saint Tropez foam. So this is more like a mousse, like a hair mousse. So you actually have to tip the bottle upside down and then put it into the mitt and it's like a really thick consistency. I really like it. It does dry quite quickly on the body. So just make sure that you are applying quickly. Obviously you wanna make sure that you are moisturizing your dry parts before you apply your Saint Tropez or Bondi Sands, whatever you're using for your tanning routine. You always wanna make sure that you moisturize before you apply your self tanner. Um, I apply this before I go to bed at night and then rinse off in the morning. That gives me a nice brown tan uh, for at least maybe two to three days. I do like to top up and I will show you what I top up my tan with next. I'm typically pretty busy and I only have time to really do the full tanning routine, I would say about once a week. So between my tans, this is probably a good time to do it, it's like a day three tan for me, is to apply a top up. Uh, there's a few different ways you can do this, which I will go through today, but um, I really like the Isle of Paradise Dark Tanning Water. This does not have a guide color, so you can apply it to your skin before you start your day. It does come off a little bit, I would say, on clothing, but nothing like a guide color will, especially the Aero uh, Ultra Dark. That stuff stains your sheets. So make sure that you use something like a gray sheet or maybe you wear some full pajamas when you go to bed at night just so it doesn't uh, stain anything. The Isle of Paradise tanning water is really nice. I like it in the dark color, so I am as dark as I possibly can be. Another easy way to top up is with the Jurgens Natural Glow. This is in the medium to tan colorway. I really don't notice a difference within one day. You really do need to keep applying this product to see the full difference um, and to see the tan kind of layer. But this is a great option. Again, it's super simple. Just apply it during the day or before you go to bed at night. And over the next few days, you will start to notice a tan develop. And then the last part of my tan routine is going to be the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Face Mist. This I typically use to do my tan on my face, chest, and my hands. And I really like this. I put it on before I go to bed at night, but I've heard some other people actually use it as a setting mist. I've never tried that myself, but I think it's a cool way to get some extra color on your face, especially in the summertime when we just wanna be living our best glowy lives. I'm not saying that you need to self tan. I think that pale skin is beautiful. I am quite pale myself, but I just feel that 
I'm more confident when I have a tan. I think that my makeup, my hair, and my clothes look better on me. Um, I find that I can wear a lot more color, uh, especially on my face in terms of lipsticks when I have more of a tan. I just feel all around more confident. I think a lot of people feel that way, but don't feel like you need to self tan if it's not for you. All right, the first one I have here is the Grape Tanning Oil. This is an SPF 6. This is by no means a sunscreen. I feel like I need to put like a huge disclaimer here that says the number one thing that you should have in your summer essentials list is sunscreen. If it's ever a blistering hot day, I am wearing sunscreen slathered all over me. So just keep that in mind that these things are meant to complement your already healthy skin. These products are really meant to just kind of complement my fake tanning routine and give me a little bit of an extra glow. But again, I'm not sitting outside all day long getting burnt to a crisp. So I do recommend applying your sunscreen every two hours, but you can also use this as a top up in between your sunscreens so you can get a bit of a deeper tan developing. The grape tanning oil uses a grapeseed oil, which is really gonna help to nourish your skin, especially when you're outside getting very dehydrated and hot. I have another couple of scents that I will show you. So I have the peach tanning oil, I have the pineapple, as well as the watermelon. These all smell like candy. So if you want to smell super sweet sitting outside while you are reading a book and just relaxing in the sun, these products are so beautiful. And I mean, how cute are the containers? I would love to throw something like this in my beach bag if I was heading on a vacation or just going to the beach or the park. All of them smell absolutely divine. They smell just like candy. I actually ended up getting the pineapple scent for free. They were doing an awesome buy one, get one free for pineapple specifically. And then I saw that they actually did that for the watermelon just this week. So if you are considering picking these up, I definitely recommend signing up for their email notifications. That way you can find out when there might be an awesome promo like this where they're doing buy one, get one free. Another product I recommend is a nice shimmering body oil. You can douse yourself in this stuff before you go out for dinner or cocktails outside and it just makes you feel dewy and juicy and glowy. Um, I really like to apply a body oil to my collarbone and shoulders and down my shins, but really I guess you could use it wherever you want. This is that they usually smell really good. I love the Patrick Ta. Um, Major Glow Oil, I think that's what it's called. And then I also love the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which smells like their best-selling fragrance, Soleil Blanc. All right, so this next product I have here is a hair oil. There are lots of different hair oils on the market, but I recommend this one because it's not only a weightless hair oil that's silicone free, but it also smells divine. It almost works as like a hair perfume, and it smells like summer in a bottle. So this is the Ritual Hair Oil by Playa, and it is with oils of kukui, apricot, and sunflower. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it smells Oh my God, I don't even know how to describe it. So it comes in a little glass eyedropper and you only need a couple of drops. I typically just put it into the palm of my hand, rub my palms together and then put it through my hair. It gives me a really nice weightless, non-greasy shine. But again, the scent is what drew me to this. It is just one of my favorite products. I definitely recommend picking it up. Yeah, I really like this as a hair oil because of the scent as well. I feel like when I'm walking outside and there's like a gust of wind, I can smell it in my hair hours later. And I love a good smelling hair product. All right, so the next must have on my list is a great summer perfume. This is the Byredo Pulp Perfume. I really enjoy this scent. The scent is a little bit tough to describe. Um, it kind of smells like apple pulp or like an apple orchard, but not that kind of Yankee Candle <laughs> apple orchard scent, if you know what I mean. So I love a lot of different summer scents, anything tropical, so your coconut, your fig, your pineapple, your vanilla. But I think if you're looking for something a little bit more refined for summer, this will be a great pick for you. This is your very refined, almost like a gourmand apple scent. One of the things I love about having a signature summer perfume is that later on in the year, uh, if you do choose to pull up the scent, it's going to remind you of your memories of summer. So next I want to share a couple of makeup products with you that I would list high in my summer essentials list. 
and one would be cream blush. There are a lot of great cream blushes out there. Nude Sticks makes some excellent options in a variety of colors. Tata Harper does as well, and I really, really like the new Fenty cream blushes. I think they're called like Cheeks Out. This is in the color Daiquiri Dip, and I just think for like a summer flush, this is stunning. This does come in quite a few different colors, so if you're looking for something a little bit more on the coral side or pink, there's something to suit everyone here. I really like a cream blush and just cream products in general for summer because they look like skin. You never look too overdone. Everything just looks really nice and natural. And sticking with the Fenty products, I really like a cream bronzer in the summertime. This is in the shade Macchiato. And again, it's just going to look very natural on the skin. It works well as a base, so if you would like to apply your cream bronzer and then apply maybe a powder on top or like a powder bronzer this is going to be a great option for you especially when there's sweltering heat and we need everything we can do to keep our makeup in place speaking of keeping makeup in place we also have the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray this is an excellent setting spray it is also i think a priming spray so you can put it on your face before you put your makeup on and then lock it in with uh, more of this spray and it is going to lock it down. I watched a video from Wayne Goss and he tested some eyeshadow shades in the back of his hand and then he put the spray on and then tried to rub it off. It did not but This is going to be an excellent product to have in your stash this summer. I might even get the smaller one to put into my purse just to do a quick top up, especially before you put on a mask to go into a store. This does have a subtle kind of rose scent kind of reminds me of like a rose water. The mister is quite nice for this as well. It's a very, very fine mist. Another product that I would recommend picking up for your summer routine is some blotting papers or a blur perfector. This is the YSL Blur Perfector, and it kind of looks like a balm. It's like a pink balm, but when you apply it to your skin with a sponge or maybe your fingertips if you wanted to, it's going to help get rid of any of that extra oiliness that we typically get in our T-zone. So I like to just keep this in my purse for when I'm on the go and need to touch up in between appointments. The last product for makeup essentials I want to share with you is the Freck Pen. This is such an amazing freckle dupe. Freckle dupe? Is that a thing? Anyway, uh, basically it comes in these cute little pens. Um, there is a smaller size available. This is the extra large and it's basically like a reddish brownish tone that you just dot onto your skin in little constellation uh, patterns. And then you can either let it dry as is, or you can take your finger and just move it around your skin. I would not recommend using something like an eyebrow, eyebrow pencil because it's going to be quite a lot ashier than what an actual freckle looks like. I think a freckle complements a tan really nicely. It makes you look more sun-kissed than you are. If you're like me, you hate that your foundation always ends up covering up your beautiful freckles, so you can try to bring it back with the freck pen. All right, so we are getting down to the last essential items. Now we are jumping into the lifestyle category. One essential for me is candles. I need candles year round, but in the summertime, they have to have a specific mood to them. I always like to have bakery or gourmand scented candles. Uh, my partner doesn't really like any kind of floral cologne scents and I'm kind of the same way. So this one here is Boardwalk, also known as Summer Boardwalk by Bath & Body Works. Just a really cheap and cheerful candle, but it smells delicious. Oh my god, yeah, that's nice. This one has that apple scent that I was talking about earlier. Not that refined apple pulp scent, but more of like a Macintosh Yankee candle type of scent. Basically, the notes are caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. This is a really nice warm scent for your home, but it's also fresh because of that apple note. I think it's meant to remind people of like going to the fair and having like caramel popcorn and taffy apples. Obviously the notes really say it and describe it for you. It's a really nice scent. We've picked up quite a few of these for around the home. I really like burning them closer to the end of summer, kind of leading into fall because you're bringing in that nice like harvest apple scent. If you're looking for something a little bit more light and airy for your home, I recommend picking up the fresh Citron de Vigne. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, 
I will link it for you down below so you can take a peek at it, but it smells just divine. When I used to work at Club Monaco, we would actually burn this scent in the store and it just smells expensive. So if you're not into a cheap and cheerful gourmand bakery kind of candle, then you should definitely get this one for your home. It's nice as a year round scent, but I think when I think of summer, I think of light, airy, breezy, windows open, and this uh, really helps to capture that kind of feeling. So next up in our lifestyle category is a picnic basket. I picked this one up off of Amazon last year. Um, we were going to go on a picnic in Prince Edward County, which is actually where we got engaged. So this is something special to me, but I would recommend picking up a picnic basket that is not only pleasing to the eye, but is functional as well. I would recommend picking up a picnic basket that has all of the fix-ins already. This one has storage for your plates, your utensils, your wine glasses. Make sure that it is roomy enough for you to take all of your goods, um, but not so big that it's gonna make it really hard to carry. Something that I would keep in mind is to read the reviews on Amazon for your picnic basket, if that's where you plan to buy it, to make sure that you are getting what you are supposed to be buying. So a picnic basket is one of my recommended items on my summer essentials list because I think that no summer is complete without a picnic. I am talking a fancy picnic as well. You want your Mirabeau or Whispering Angel wine, chic wine glasses, coasters, a gorgeous blanket, a charcuterie board. Dining al fresco is one of my favorite summer activities and having a picnic outside is high on my summer bucket list. Next up in the lifestyle category is the Tarani Salted Caramel Syrup. This stuff is amazing. I haven't been to Starbucks in over six months and let me tell you, I don't feel like I need to go back. So I make my coffee in my Nespresso virtual machine and what I'll do is I will pour my coffee over a ton of ice, put in a splash of milk, a little bit of this, and mix it around. You don't need sugar or anything else because this is already like really sweet on its own. It is basically a cold caramel macchiato. I don't feel like I need to go to Starbucks to pick up my expensive $5 coffees anymore. This is amazing. You can get this off of Amazon. Um, if you really like Starbucks drinks, then definitely look for your favorite syrup uh, from this brand. All right, so next on my list of summer essentials is a great read. If you are sitting outside in that hot, hot heat, and you are either on a picnic or at the beach or just sitting out in your backyard, you know that you need a page turner to keep your mind occupied. This is the book Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. It's also the same writer as Gone Girl and uh, Dark Places. I'm actually reading Dark Places right now, I'll let you know how it is. But Sharp Objects is hands down one of my favorite thriller books. Actually, no, it is my favorite thriller book. I am confident in saying that. This is such a creepy book with lots of twists and turns. It's based on sort of the matriarch of the family and her two daughters and all the weird stuff they get into. I know there's obviously a television show out based on this book. I haven't actually watched it myself, but I want to. But this book, so good, so good. Do yourself a favor and pick this book up. So if you're looking for a page turner that you can flip through in a couple of days on the beach, definitely pick this one up. All right guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you liked any of the pieces I mentioned, make sure to check them out using the links below. I would love to know from you guys what is on your summer essentials list. If you wanna leave a comment down below, I will definitely check out those products. I am a product junkie. I'm always looking to incorporate new things in my day-to-day -day life and discover the next best thing. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next one.